Zero down, coming back to a 3-2 win. Um, and of course the final will be coming later, but for now we're going to see who finishes third here in the Quake Live tournament. And it's Avec versus Cooler. First map, DM13. And we can see the spawn for Avec is going to let him get into that rocket launcher. Of course, he took away one of those yellow armors. Um, he's going to get shards here first before he moves into that upper yellow. And I mean, what do you think to do? I mean, it's always good to have that little bit of extra armor as he gets hit with a random grenade. Yeah, especially with Avex start. I mean, he, he didn't get any of the big items, so now he has to work the yellows for a bit. His only advantage now is uh, the LG. And I'm pretty sure he's going to try to keep middle a bit and keep Cooler out of the LG room because that's really his only advantage. He can't take rocket launcher fights at the moment just because of his, his armor. And surely here he's going to try to lay some damage onto the Mega now. He's actually going in quite aggressive, but he will have to back off now. Good little bit of damage output there with that plasma, but of course, like you said, he can't actually push in there too hard because he quite simply doesn't have the health and armor to uh, face up against Cooler. Right now, again, he'll take away the two yellows which will put him on 100, 150, but when we look over at Cooler, he's 120, 120. But actually, uh, we'll get that rocket off, and he's finally got himself over now to that lightning gun, so we may just see Cooler trying to move into that middle area once he picks up this yellow armor, but it's spawning at the same time as the red. He has to be careful here. Yeah, and Avec will get the red for free now, but Cooler is ready to put some damage onto him now, and a good rocket there, a really good rocket. Well, Mega Health will be next in play, and he's gone over to Avec as cool as Rocky Jump. Not sure um, it was quite what he intended there. I think he meant to actually get himself up to the rocket launcher platform with his final rocket so that, you know, he had something to work with. But again, he will camp out here, wait for that upper yellow to spawn. And now we'll move out into the map and see what he can uh, figure out and hold on to this middle area. Red armor again collected by Avec Cooler. It's very, very early for this Mega Health, and you can see the grenades coming in there. Avec tossing them down from above as well, so Cooler probably going to be muscled away, and he has to move right away because those grenades expertly placed there by Avec down that uh, shoot by the Mega Health. And again, I mean, the control switch here with really Avec doing nothing. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's so hard on this map to, to get perfect positioning for every item, and at the moment, it's, it's going really good for Avec. And Cooler's having a hard time putting any damage in it. And that rocket directly to the face of Cooler. And surely Avec knows that he did a lot of damage now and that he can actually move in for a kill soon. Well, he knows where uh, Cooler is. And Cooler playing a little bit dangerous there, but managing to dodge those rockets and the splash damage that was coming out from them. More rockets for Avec. Still trying to hold this middle area. Mega Health is on its platform. Red armor up in one second. But well, Avec is the man that will try and actually uh, set up a trap here for Cooler, but he should be able to uh, pick up those two major items once again. We've got three minutes of this game already, and of course still tied here at 0-0. Yeah, this is so, so hard to play for Avec as well. He knows if he does one mistake on the items, Cooler already has two under the armor now. And if he does one mistake, Cooler is going to get in on a Mega, on a Red. So he has a hard time just getting off that map and really getting into Cooler's face now. Well, Avec will finally drop down that red armor collected. Next item up in play is the Mega Health. Has Cooler already got position? In fact, he came there from that shotgun area. Did a little bit of damage, not too much that's going to worry Avec, actually. Um, but that rocket jump, <laughs> not what he intended, but it actually flung him down towards that red armor area. He will collect that upper yellow. Good rocket from Cooler as Avec comes back towards that middle. Well, this next red armor, let's have a look, probably going to go over to Cooler. In fact, he's trying to cut Avec off once again. Yeah, but Avec, Avec, Avec thinks Cooler already went for the red armor, and he's setting up for Mega. And this could be really risky. Avec is in a disadvantage now. Six minutes remaining. Cooler dropping down here to do some damage on that Mega health, and it's a good bit of LG that he's thrown out there. As he decides to go for that uh, yellow armor, rather than dropping down towards the ready, I'm guessing that he didn't realize it was still up, as that's a great rocket as Avic comes back through the teleporter. There's 40 seconds till the halfway point, and still we wait for that first kill to come in. But here we could maybe see it. it's a great rocket, but look at the return from Avic. Cool, thrown up in the air, it threw his aim off completely. And now he's the one that's struggling here for health and armor, and Avic seemingly has him pinned. Yeah, but I think made a move. mistake here, I think. I mean, moving onto that red is, is giving Cooler a free mega help, basically. Unless oh, he can cut him off there. Nice LG, and he's surely going to move in here. That was a great little uh, jump out there from Avec, who does take a rocket back after that mega health had been picked up. But uh, Cooler completely crippled at the moment. 
He's only just got himself up to 52 HP. Alec is there and Cooler knows that he can't show himself at the minute because a good burst of LG, a lucky rocket, and Cooler would actually uh, go down at this point. You can see that Alec trying to put that pressure on as more grenades come flying through. Smiley's coming out from Avic, and that red armor will finally be uh, picked up by Avic. And now Avic put himself in such a good position, he's surely going to be able to get that mega uncontested, and he's going to try to cut Avic off, uh, Cooler off on the next um, yellow armor in middle. And Cooler is trapped now. Yep, and Avic's actually got himself right in on that upper yellow area. The question is, will he be able to hunt down Cooler for the frag? I don't think he's going to risk moving oh, into the the grenade's jet. gone in there. First of LG, grenades actually uh, dropping away. Cooler will actually drop down, pick up that red armor, and as Avic spams those uh, grenades down towards that teleporter exit, he's going to wait here with the plasma, and it's a face fall for Cooler. And in the end, he goes down. It's the first frag of this third place decider, and it is Avic that picks it up after a good six minutes of play, actually, there. A very uh, kind of slow tactical start that we probably expected anyway between these two players. Yeah, and I'm, I'm pretty sure this game is, is going to get more open now. I mean, usually the first frag is so important to get, but it wasn't a super clean frag, and now Avec is having a good position, but Kula is surely going to... Oh my god, he actually went through. But still, same play, uh, players are on the same stack now, so each of them is going to get a yellow most likely. Yeah, pull her up by the upper yellow. We're going to see an LG fight here around middle, and Avex actually taking a ton of damage. Gets away with just 28 HP. Luckily for him, that Mega's available. That will be a big bonus for Avex because he would have been struggling, and Cooler was in position maybe to uh, come and hunt him down and tie us up. But for now, Avex survives. With three minutes to go. But one frag, surely not going to be enough. Avec has been so good at, at putting damage onto Cooler when he's leaving the red room. He didn't even need to take the red. Every time Cooler took a red, he took so much damage from Avec. And even the kill was just because Avec predicted him so well on, on leaving the red armor normally through the teleporter. Mega health next up. Cooler collects cleanly. And Cooler's on 200 200 now. Avec is going to have a hard time. I think putting out a decent amount of damage here, but Cooler's forcing him away from red armor, uh, from the yellow armor, and that could be very, very crucial as Cooler will start to push with the LG and will tie us up at 1 1 with two and a half minutes to go. Here comes the rocket jump the from Cooler, and there's the conversion as well. Coming easy for Cooler, and he's going to try for another one here. Avec, not exactly where he expected. Plasma pickup for Avec, but surely not enough to keep him alive. Oh, that's out of LG. <laughs> And Cooler was maybe in a little bit of trouble there. I mean, Avic got a little bit too close with that plasma. Of course, the splash damage in the end was the end of him. Oh, great plasma there by, by Cooler. And now, we're going to see Cooler settle himself down and maybe slow the pace as we hit these final two minutes. And this is the position Cooler likes the most. Getting all the items and controlling the whole map, setting it up for his attacks, always knowing what Avic could be. And he's so good at this. I don't know if Ava can come back in 1 minute 40. He's got to pull off something magic. Well, those rockets have been good for him so far. LG fight once again. Avec will back away, but the rockets from Cooler are absolutely devastating. And Cooler doesn't even need to spot Avec in that situation. He knew exactly where he was, and the rockets did it all for him. Here comes another bit of damage with the plasma. And actually, both players using a lot of plasma here so far in the 13 Yeah, they really like to spam it. I mean, it, it can be a really good decision as we see the fourth frag of Cooler to, to spam plasma instead of rockets, because rockets are more easy to dodge. If you get a bit of plasma damage, I mean, one cell takes 20 damage off. Right now, Cooler really uh, started to walk away with things, and already Avec has called good games. Of course, the score of 5-0 to zero with one minute to go. Now 6-0. No, very hard to come back here on DM13 as it is, but six frags in a minute for Avec. Pretty much impossible, but of course, they will play out these final seconds. And here we see how much uh, how much Cooler really wants to win. He might not be as motivated as he would be if he was standing in the final, but, but he still it, seems, wants to it win. seems to be enough to, to beat Avec on DM13 at least. Well, looks like he could get another kill, and actually Avec will kill himself in the end with a rocket spam. And of course, that means that he is now on minus one frag, so not really uh, the greatest of starts for either, but I don't think he's going to be too worried actually after you know, losing DM13, a map which Cooler actually does really excel at, it fits his playstyle perfectly.
Yeah, definitely. It's, it's probably Kula's best map. Or at least one of the best maps. So. It could be a whole different story. We're gonna see it irrelevant on the next map. Let's see how this game is going to shape up. This could be match point for Cooler if he's able to pick up this second map in a row. It's a nice little spawn for Avek. Of course, getting Mega Health, getting that Yellow Armor and uh, Rocket Launcher and LG. Of course, Cooler will be the man that picks up Red Armor and the Yellow plus the Railgun. Yeah, pretty standard start. Cooler's going to try to make use of his Railgun now and lock Avek out of the Red Room, but he's not being successful so far. And Avek is going to try to backstab it, but he's too late. Good play by Avek. He, he would have had a hard time getting in there, especially without a railgun. So he's chosen to uh, stay on the mega room and defend it. Well, here comes Cooler in for that push, and that railgun could be a little bit naughty for Avek. Here comes Cooler again, keeping that pressure up. He knows that he could maybe stop him getting over. Actually, Cooler does get on the uh, mega. It's great LG from Avek. And unfortunately for him, actually runs out of ammo, but all that damage output has meant that he can get over onto that red arm. But look at the rockets from Cooler. Again, the rail will actually miss. And that will mean that Avec can take away this yellow armor, but maybe more importantly, finally get in and pick up a railgun. Yeah, and the next fight is, is going to be big, because I think Cooler knows that Mega and Red should be roughly the same time, so he's, he's not in control, and he's going to try to get a position somewhere in between. And Avek knows this. He's going to try to catch him off, and, and now Cooler has the problem. He's not going to be able to get on anything. Well, the rail did connect. Cooler's starting to work his way up there, and he actually Great steals away that Mega. The yellow armor from underneath as well. Here's Avek from above. Got LG from Cooler. All fours Havoc to uh, push away just a little. There's another rail. And Havoc knows if he crosses, it could be dangerous, but Cooler had actually dropped already back towards that railgun room. One grenade connects. And uh, he'll actually give up the red armor here to Cooler, and the rocket didn't do any damage either. So Cooler pretty much just bullying his way back into this map with that mega pickup. Yeah, and Havoc is has to stay pretty much in this room now if he wants to get a shot on this map. Here we go, Avec trying to uh, use all those legends to his advantage, trying to uh, throw Cooler's rockets off, but Cooler is now going to put some pressure on, moving in for the first frag. Avec down, fairly low on health and armor, and will back away now towards that red armor. That's a great rail, much needed rail actually from Avec in that situation. But he's got red, and he's probably going to take this yellow. I mean, he's a little bit wary of actually jumping up to take that yellow, because Cooler might trap him in there. Yeah, he can't at the moment, and he doesn't really need it as well. I mean, he's sitting on a good armor stack and he can just get the yellow in the other room now. And Cooler is not even going to challenge for it. And next item is play red armor. It's big for Cooler, not so big for Avex. So Avex should probably look onto some damage and lock him out of the room. And these rockets can be really good. And the first rocket really good onto Cooler. Avex managed to get through. Mega health on its platform. What is Cooler's next move? Avex kind of anticipating a rocket jump up here from Cooler. Well, Cooler's not going to make the move, and the LG is so strong in the air. Cooler's taken away all of Avex's armor. Luckily for Avex, he did manage to just about get onto that mega platform. And also, he had the uh, yellow armor away. So, kind of similar situation than we saw in the first round. A few minutes going by, no frags. And these players just trying to make their mark on T7. But so far, no one's turned it into a kill. And the first frag... The, l the longer it takes for the first frag, the more open the game will be afterwards. Because if the frag comes at the four minute mark, for example, the player out of control won't have enough time to actually set up a good stack anymore. And we will see a really aggressive game, a bit like the end of uh, DM13. Great way that from Cooler as well. That's giving him that mega health again. Red armor is Amex. But he knows that Cooler probably uh, a lot more healthy. Yeah, Cooler's 180, 150. They spot each other around middle. Cooler not quite expecting Avex to uh, peek out from there. And, and if Avex manages to get into that red room before Reds, oh, he's not Cooler. <laughs> Cooler predicted him so well there. I mean, there's so many entrances to that room, and he predicted the right one. They are so good at knowing each other's game. Three seconds for Mega. Cooler underneath Avex at the moment. Cooler will finally go through. LG ready. Is Avex going to make the move over? Cooler going at it with the LG once again. Avex going to take this fight at least for a brief second. 
And he's now going to move over onto that Mega Health once again. Gets it. Great rail from Cooler at close range. And he's got Avic pinned. That rocket won't help Cooler's cause, though. And he's going to have to run away quickly over to this red armor. Has to watch for the rail. He knows that Avic might be watching. Actually, it's a rocket that's thrown out. That was so unlucky of Cooler. If he hadn't rocketed himself there, I'm pretty sure he would have gotten onto Avic. And Avic was so low. That was his kill. And he's surely going to kick himself if he doesn't get it now. Avec on 30 HP and kill above him. Now he's got him trapped. No rockets left here for Cooler. So he can't actually spam down and we'll have to rely on that LG. Still in a comfortable position, but now one more rail will actually finish him. Avec starting to push through with that lightning gun. But what a rail from Cooler walking around that pillar. And that's the first frag here on the second map. And in all fairness, it shouldn't have gone the way it did. No. I mean, Kula was about to pick it up easily. He had, what, 150 and 20 or something left? And he gets it with 19 HP and a close range railgun. But now Avak is in control because of that situation. I mean, it took so long to get the kill, and the red armor was obviously up. Nice rail again from Kula. He's doing the damage before Avak was able to pick up that red armor. Now he's going to sit here. Second row rail will land. Mega Health is on its platform and Cooler just switching positions here, trying to get that shot off, but he knows that he can't really contest for that Mega. And now the Red Armor is the next in contention. And actually, Avex really delayed that Mega Health, and that might just say, uh, yeah, Cooler's like, hmm, maybe I can actually get down. And Avex already in there, but Cooler surprising him just a little bit with a move from above. And Avex has had his back to him. Finally, he gets under Avex using that plasma, actually. We have now three and a half minutes. Cooler trying to hold on to this one to zero lead. He's going to have a hard time. I think it's, it's going to play more aggressive from time to time as well. Cooler's managed to work himself back to 100 100. And Avec is up there. The question is, where is Avec's next move? And Cooler knows that he's not dropped onto that red armor, but Avec's going to go aggressive. Probably the best thing he could have done in that situation. And now Cooler down to 45 HP, will finally go down to the lightning gun of Avec. And it is all tied up at 1-1. Cooler surely going to go down once again, if Avec can actually uh, get track of him. Cooler doing a great job, actually, just with that machine gun off the spawn. Really Avec causing Avec a few problems. The longer he can delay this, the better it is for Cooler. Oh, and he actually gets out of the situation, that is amazing. Mega Health and Yellow Armor going to be picked up by Avic. Red Armor is in position as well, but Cooler... Oh yeah, he did take it. He was obviously uh, a little bit wary of if Avic was going to go through. Look at the LG from Cooler stopping Avic in his tracks. And actually he's going to go aggressive again. Down to 92 HP now is Avic. And a rail would put him so low. But Cooler's decided not to go aggressive. Let's have a look at Cooler. This is so risky for Cooler. He only has 40 shots left on his LG and no other weapon to play with. Well, if he hits all of them, then maybe he's okay. He knows exactly where Avec is, but yeah, only got that LG. This position is good for Avec, because he knows even if he doesn't have hit the shot, he can always back off to the Mega. And now Kula is doing a really good move on placing himself between the items. Avec up above him, and they're playing a little game of cat and mouse at the minute. But Kula's managed to work his way in and steal that red away, and he's in just a brief second there. Managed to get himself back to 100, 200. Avec is 200 with 75 armor. So actually, it's Cooler now who has that advantage. And these next rail shots are maybe going to determine who's able to pick up what could well be a final kill at this kind of time. Yeah, but they're not, not close enough now. I mean, you see them playing with each other at the moment. They're not really moving in. But Avec now actually going aggressive in the situation. I don't know. I think this is a mistake. He really has to get out of there. And Get up, back up some armor. And this is really bad for him now. He can't even challenge the Mega, probably. 100 health, 50 armor. And Cooler is 80 health, 180 armor. So this Mega health is going to put Cooler in such a great position as we hit that final minute. Now Cooler knows this is probably the time that he needs to go chasing him for the frag. Briefly spots Havoc there. And he's now going to try and seal him off inside middle. Good rail on the defense from Havoc. Kula still trying to find that entry and turn his stack into a kill. Yellow armor denied from Avic. Kula didn't really need it all that much, but it's better than his opponent having it. Red armor is next in play. And Avic can be happy if you... Oh, he's jumping on the thread and he actually timed it perfectly there. 
and now he's back on the map. Even though Kula is going to get the Mega now, he's not too much behind. I mean, 100 behind, that's one rocket. One good rocket in the fight, and you're ahead already. 15 seconds to go. Cooler at the moment just going to stack up for that yellow, which could be his final yellow of the game. And we saw, of course, it come down to the last two seconds in the semi final. Cooler will move in here. He's going to force his way through, or is he? Avec has actually backed away. And as we hit the final seconds, we will be pushed here into a 120 second overtime. And Cooler probably uh, coming off worse from that little exchange. I mean, he's got in on red, got in on the uh, yellow. Actually, he's got a little bit more. Well, that will change with this pickup of the yellow armor for Avic. Cooler will steal the Mega away, though. This is big. This is big. I mean, Cooler lost a lot of armor in that fight, but the Mega is going to give him such an advantage in this position. Great second map so far on Furious Heights. 1-1. One, one. And, of course, we are in overtime. He's Cooler will spot Avic there for a brief second, just looking around on that red. Grenades spammed onto the spot. One of them will connect, but I think Avex taking it away. No, he hasn't. And Cooler will come back for another shot. It does connect with a railgun. Vital position once again. And Avex makes the move on the Mega. Oh, he's, he's doing so great now. Cooler. Cooler's been sitting on 9 HP. Surely Avex is going to catch him here. Avex sat right now. Got him pinned in behind that pillar, but we've seen this position from Cooler before. But Avex will move in with a plasma. Does the job. And now off the spawner's chance for a conversion. The rail will connect, and surely Avex going to chase him for the frag. Cooler tried to hit him with the grenade, hits another rail, and Cooler is pretty much crippled. Yeah, 37 health. And surely Avex will be able to chase him for another frag, and that will really put him in a great position. Cooler steals Mega, but Avex still piling on the pressure. Cooler's getting Cooler his last chance again. now. They're equal on stacks. Cooler doesn't have weapons, though. This is. This is going to be so hard to, to get that frag with only a rocket launcher. 20 seconds to go. Cooler, no LG. Finally gets himself a railgun. And Avex is just sitting it out. Yeah, he has to catch Avex at this point. And that could be the hardest thing about making a comeback with eight seconds remaining on the clock. There's the LG for Cooler. Similar to a position to we saw the final in the uh, Rafa versus Cooler semi final. And it will be Avex who picks up the frag. Third place playoff, and it is of course Cooler versus Avex. Score currently one to one, all tied up. And we are going to get underway here on Arrow Walk. And it's a great start for Avex already as he hits the rail. He's going to steal himself the Mega Health, and he's got position maybe to attack Cooler as he makes a move for this red armor. Good rockets from above, but not doing too much damage. Cooler will finally rocky jump his way in. Avex will miss that railgun shot as the drop down comes for Cooler. Avex just needs LG then, he's in a really good position for the next fight. I think for, uh, for Cooler is that Red and Mega only have a one second difference between them. And that could make uh, all the difference as we come to this next fight. Red Armour is up first, here comes a push though from Avec, and Cooler will actually kill himself against the body of Avec. And the score one to, uh, or minus one to zero in favour of course of Avec. And he's already had a great start here off the sport. Yeah, direct rocket into Cooler. There's just the best thing that can happen to you. Cooler not too lucky with that spawn as well. When it launches spawn, always the worst you can have on this map, pretty much. Oh, and he's surely trapped. Avic switching out for the combo. I'm not sure that was the greatest decision there. One more rocket, I think, would have finished Cooler off. And then finally, for Rocket jumps his way up, and there's the rail as he drops down. I'm not sure Cooler was quite expecting the uh, speed at which Avic dropped, and of course, hit his shot. And it will put Avic two points in the lead. And already we see a really fast-paced game, and Kule is having a hard time getting onto the map properly. I mean, his spawns haven't been really good, and Avec is just hitting great as well. And Kule, so far, not too amazing with the railgun, and it's so important to hit these pixel rails on this, on this map. Almost two minutes gone here in the third map. Avec looking to cut Cooler off by that yellow armor. And it's really bad news for Cooler when he's getting railed and also uh, not being able to pick up that yellow armor or even uh, one of the greens either. So really Cooler not got much to work with as Havoc comes flying through. Easy railgun shot down onto Cooler. And he will be in position to collect once again another red armor. And he's also even looking for the frag at this stage. And he probably will get it here, but that's a good rocket from Cooler. 
but it's just not enough. The uh, health on armor stack from Avec is just huge at the minute. Yeah, and Kula doesn't really know. He, he, he thought about going aggressive in the situation, and he realized, okay, this is probably not good, and I'll just back off. <laughs> and that probably was a smart decision. Mega up in two. Kula nowhere to be seen. Actually, he came in for a shot from behind. Havik will be the one to connect. Almost hits that second one as well. Cooler going at him with the rocket launcher. And Havik's going to push aggressive. Problem is, Cooler's kind of a little bit trapped in that position. And Havik is actually going to get the rocket off. Looking for the one down bottom. And Cooler, in the end, I think cratered off the off the jump up or the, the force of the rocket pushed him up into the yeah. kind of damage drop area. And Cooler, I think. I'm not sure, but I think he didn't have a mega yet, like a single one, and one red armor or something. So Avic is running the map just so perfectly, until he doesn't really know what to do. Maybe that his rockets can help him this time, but there's just too much armor and HP on Avic at the moment. Cooler knows that the longer that this goes on, that he's not able to break that control, the longer, or the harder I should say, it's going to be for him to get anything from this map. Right now, Avic. Pretty much running a perfect aero walk game. So we have yeah. Red Armoury pick up next. And actually, Cooler is already up there. Of course, Havoc trying to do that splash damage from underneath. Trying to find a bit of a crazy angle on that one. In the end, it is Cooler that picks it up. But there goes a great rail as Havoc jumps past that teleporter area. Yellow Armour goes to Havoc. Of course, you have the last Mega as well. We'll connect with another rail gun. And Havoc is just hitting all of these important rails. And Cooler is missing them. Avec again moving in position to stop the climb up from Cooler and he's going to move it for the frag with that lightning gun and again he's able to find it and with that red armor he's probably going to be able to have a uh, successful defense on that mega area but Cooler drops, hits the rail, Avec down to just 15 HP and Cooler will come in behind and Cooler finally gets his first frag of the map but off the spawn Avec spawns next to the rocket launcher and just says okay mega's mine you're not having a single one on this map. Yeah now Avec Hitting that rail again, it's so important. Finally, Kula hits one back, and Evac is sitting below 80 HP now, and finally, 25 spawns for him. The first is gonna hit this rail, and it's gonna have such a good time. Red Armor is available, and Evac tried to uh, be a little bit sneaky there, but Kula completely read his move. Kula is finally up to zero frags once again. We're about to hit that halfway point. Here comes a move from Cooler. Avec again no, will steal away that Mega. And really, Cooler, I'm pretty sure, has had zero Mega health. Yeah, he, he didn't have any Megas yet. And that's really one reason why he can't run the map as Avec did yet. But the Saji fight, he can bring it to Avec's favor again. And he's just so perfect on his, uh, on his timing when, when he wants to get the kills. It's, it's always been before a Mega or right before Red Armor, so he can stack up afterwards and not lose control again. Still a good eight seconds till that mega health, and of course Havoc has got the exact timing on it. Cooler dropping down there to do that close range damage with that rocket launcher and actually hit the rail. This could be, or at least could have been, a uh, pushing onto that mega oh. health. Look at that for a rocket directly into Cooler. He's going to try for the rail, which he misses. And if you just have a quick look at the accuracy, it's 35% rail for Havoc as he uh, finds his eighth frag of the game. Um, Cooler hitting a 40% rail, but. You have to say that the, the rails from Mavic have been the important Yeah, ones. exactly. All the important rails has been uh, has Avic been hitting and Kula has not, so that is so big on this map. And I mean, having every single Mega and surely he's going to get the frag again right before the Mega, as I said before, and Red Armor up for him as well. I really don't know how Kula is supposed to break this. Nice dodging from Avic there. And Kula, of course, was healing himself mid-fight from those 225 HP bubbles. Here comes Kula once again, close range with the rail. Can he now find his first kill? Avic gets himself a bit more healthy. And there's Kula once again, just moving around. But Avic knows again the timing on that Mega, but he's actually in position for the red, and there could be a possibility for Kula. That red arm, uh, that Mega health up in a second, and finally Kula is pushed onto a Mega health by Avic. And actually, Havoc will kill himself. So Cooler has now got Mega and Red, but literally that's all. He's 100-100, and a nicely placed rail from Havoc is really going to set Cooler back once again. Yeah, and three minutes left, nine frags. This is possible on, on, on Aerobot. It's probably the only map where it's, where it's really possible. And Cooler really has to go on the rampage now. Havoc just doing the uh, 
Move through that teleporter, kind of confused Cooler for a second. And Avic, again, going super aggressive. He's not scared to take these fights, even though he knows he might not have the advantage when it comes to the health and armor. The mega health is now up. Avic will collect. Cooler will take red, but his health definitely not in the position that he needs to be as a direct grenade comes in. Smiley face from Avec, and he knows that he's just crippled Cooler once again. And every second he can push off this map now without dying is going to be a second closer to his win on this map. Rocket's coming down. Cooler again. I'll have to rely on that green armor to give him something to work with. But Avec has now Rocket jumped up onto that red armor, and the rockets from Avec absolutely perfect. Cooler thought he might have had the advantage there, taking uh, you know, LG to Rocket Fight going down the stairs. And but he hit 100% as well. Yeah. But Avic's rocket was uh, direct, to say the least. He's now got nine frags with one minute and 50 to go. Here comes Cooler again. He knows that all he can do at this point is you know, put out as much damage as he can and hope that he's able to pick up a frag and then string some together off the spawn, but becoming less and less likely uh, with each second that passes. Yeah, and especially his aiming is not perfectly on Cooler's aiming. Avex, Avex aiming is neither, but it's, it's, it's enough to keep him on this map at the moment. Especially his rockets are helping him so much. Oh, what a railgun there, Cooler. Oh, there's not much you can really do about that, and Cooler knows it. Oh, he hit the shots in those situations and hope that your opponent's not going to fire off such great rockets, because Avex rockets, you know, 22%, but again, same as his railgun, they've been the important ones. Yeah, and especially rocket, Avex is spamming a lot as well. LG fight here around that mega area, Avex actually peeking around to go for the rail shot, but he knows with one minute to go, 10 frags to make up for Cooler, chances are, oh, we've got this one in the back. Nice rail from Cooler. Red armor is now available. Let's move over to Cooler because he's the one chasing. But again, all the uh, rocket jumps that he's had to do have really crippled his health. 25 will see him go back up to 40. Looking for that railgun shot once again as Avec forces his way in on the yellow armor. Both players missing the railgun shot. Avec will hit this one though. And it's now a bad position for Cooler to be in. His health going away and Avec will charge around towards that teleport to catch his Cooler out. 15 seconds to go, Avec makes it 13 to 2, and will actually get himself in on a red armor here again. The Rockets are brilliant, and both of them kind of stopped mid-dodge there, and he caught both of them out. They both did it exactly the same time. come back on the way. He knows that now two maps in a row is what he needs to claim third place at Intel Extreme Masters Global Challenge here at Gamescom. And he, and he knows how he's going to do it. At least I hope he does. We'll have to see about that. Avic getting his form by up a yellow. Of course, that will give him a red armor and actually landed a bit of plasma as well. I think it was maybe only one cell, but better than nothing, let's say. Every damage is going to help, especially in the style. I mean, the next big item is probably going to be the red. And both players got uh, their part of the map pretty unshaved. Nice rocket there by Avec to send him off, but he doesn't have LG and he doesn't have a railgun. And Cooler has both, so Cooler is still going to look to pick up this red armor, or at least put a lot of damage onto it, but he's being a bit late now, and Avec got out so cleanly. This is so big for Avec. He needs that railgun, and he knows it. He knows that Cooler's probably going to peek him here, but he has or could have taken away that Mega a little bit earlier than he did. But will finally claim it, and he's the one with the better stack of the two players. And now finally has LG and Rail, so he can really put out a lot of damage. And this time with the plasma, switches out to LG. And again, just brilliant read by uh, that prediction by was Alex. just so amazing. I mean, oh, it's great Rail again, 2-0. It, it's 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 easy to predict in the first 30 seconds, let's say, that someone comes through with that. But after one minute, to predict it that well, just so good. Eight minutes, 40 remaining. Lower yellow is something that Cooler really could do with right now. Avec knows it, and let him get it, but he's already done that LG damage that probably uh, forces Cooler to be nowhere in sight for this red armor, but that's a great move from Cooler, gets itself in. The rockets and rail from Avec equally as impressive. Now Avec will have to uh, get that 50 HP, and Cooler went aggressive with the plasma. The rocket already on its way to Cooler's position. And as it lands, it picks up the third frag, but Cooler 
wisely going super aggressive straight from the start, but that could also hurt him maybe if he's going to win the uh, mega to his shots. I think he's so good at the moment predicting Kula's movements. I mean, he's got him off three times now. That is just so good. Red Armor next in play. Avec will wait around for it as he throws that rocket out. It does connect, but not quite sure how much damage it did to Kula. Not too much, I think. And Avec is now the one on the back foot, but he still has a free frag lead, which now he's going to try and hold on to for as long as possible. Kula will move in, but look at the rockets again from Avec. Brilliant. Kula returns one equally as impressive, but Avec again will hit one but he's down to just seven points of health and needs help badly. I'm not sure if that 50 HP bubble is actually up at the minute either. And now Kula's in the position he likes, yeah, controlling the whole map, and <laughs> that's what we're going to see him doing. And Avek felt the, the pain of that on GM13 already. He couldn't get back in when, Avek had, uh, when Kula had full control, and it's going to be interesting to see if he manages on um, Blood Run. Avek just taking bit of time here, run the clock down, maybe set up for something on this Red Army. We'll actually make his way in, and Cooler's nowhere to be seen there for that Red Army. He was down at Mega Health, um, and I mean, he's got that lower yellow as well, which means that he is almost 200-200. Avec, of course, 91 and 135. Easily a good rocket there, can change the fight though, and that's what Avec landed, but Cooler will push through with a lightning gun, and it will be 3-1. Cooler's comeback set in motion. Perfect LG there by, by Kula. I mean, that was really spot on. Not a single cell on his there. And that is just really, I mean, Avec even caught him off. And now Avec is doing so much damage in this situation. Kula didn't expect that at all. And Avec might win the Mega if he goes for it, but decides not to. And that might be a mistake in the situation because it's going to leave him on the back foot again. Well, Kula watching onto that Mega health position. <laughs> And he's actually going to go here through for the red. Mega Health did finally go over to Avec. And he smiles because he thought that Cooler would go in for it. Yeah. Cooler thought he was going in for it. And actually, neither of them uh, made the move. But finally, Avec's like, oh, Mega's still there. That's kind of nice of you. Thanks for that. But Cooler is really struggling on health. And that's a big thing for him right now because that 50 HP people will not up. Uh, he's, just, he's probably just going to. Oh, this could be risky. Avec will hear this. And he gets away with it as well. Rocky jump up there for uh, that 25 HP bubble. Lower yellow available. There's a good rail from Avic. And the next would finish him. And Cooler faking the rocket jump out. And finally that 50 HP is there for him. But here comes Avic. LG blazing. Cooler will try and return. And actually Avic switched out to rockets. And uh, I think Cooler was kind of ready for that one. Cooler's managed to get himself over onto that red armor platform but drops down just before it spawns. Avic will drop in with the rocket launcher. But it's not hardly hit anything there, and that's bad news for Avec. Avec only sitting on 100 HP now, and Kula's just going to play this so a nice rail. This is surely going to send Avec away. Is he going to risk it and actually make the move to the red? He does, and he gets railed again. And he hits two in a row. I mean that rail. This is this is going to get Kula pissed for sure. That was his kill. That was Kula's kill in that situation. He just pretty much outplayed Avec there. And he gets railed twice in a row from Engel, which you just wouldn't expect. Well, right now, Avec up high. He knows that Cooler's uh, somewhere down there below him. And actually, he will cut him off with that lower yellow. Great move. He will force his way through now. And he's able to pick up the frag. And that will see him four frags clear with four minutes 20 left to play here on Blood Run. Mega Health next item in play. And both players spamming a bit of rocket, uh, sorry, grenade launcher down there. And Cooler will actually make his way onto it, but he's taken a lot of damage from it. Avec now needs to line up this rail, which he does connect with. He's quite low, and he's going to have to move over and hit the rail at the same time, which you know, didn't quite work out for him. But there's a 50 health, a 50 armor, and he could maybe get in on red, but he has to be careful of Cooler, who's late for it. And that will be uh, a godsend, basically, for Avec. Yeah, but he's really low on HP as well, so he's probably not going to push in now. But... The first of those two who's going to find HP on the map is going to be in a really good position. Avec has a lot of armor and Kula does not. Mega health. Freebie for Avec. There is Kula oh, and the Rocky was rocket. perfect. And that kind of thing is probably going to annoy Kula, to be honest. As he will make his jump over to the red armor. Lots of LG coming out from Avec. Surely there'll be a frag. But the machine gun 
was, oh sorry, it was a shotgun that was uh, being thrown out there from Cooler. And again off the spawn, Avex got these rockets seemingly out of nowhere. Yeah, it really seems like he's playing with a raw leg. His prediction rockets are just so good. I mean, the rocket on that yellow there, when Cooler was flying down, it hit exactly the same time Cooler hit the ground. That is just, I mean, that, that you can call luck at some point as well. But we've seen before, Avex is predicting Cooler's movement so well at the moment. Red armor for Avex. Here in a second, or maybe not, because Cooler's made that cheeky rocket jump over there and he's hit a direct rocket as well. The question is, will Avec hit the shot? He has hit the rail and I think Cooler is probably railable now. Yes, he is. And still, Avec leads with seven frags. Cooler knows that he needs to stack up and make an attack probably within the next 30 seconds if anything's going to happen for him in this map. And Avec looks so confident he's not backing off at all. I mean, he's. In the seven frag lead with two minutes 30 to go, you could as well just run this map and play it passively, but he's, he keeps creating the situations for him to get more frags. <laughs> and again, a nice rail down. Upper yellow is available for Avic. Mega health was, of course, taken last. Uh, sorry, upper yellow for Cooler. Last mega was taken by Avic. There goes the rockets down. Again, Avic will uh, take himself out of that fight. And will actually jump over and uh, claim himself that red armor as well. Cooler able to land the rail from underneath. But 150 to go and Cooler still seven frags. Worse off than Avic. There goes the rocket jump up. And surely this could be a kill for Cooler. Connects with the rail looking for another one. Oh. Avic hits him from below. And again, that kind of cripples Cooler a little bit because yeah. uh, you know, Avic's well. not great. But Cooler still doesn't know exactly what he's on, so might be a bit afraid that, you know, if he pushes in, then Avex will bring him down. Yeah, and that situation, I really don't know why he went for the second rail shot. 9 HP on Avex. Surely Cooler's gonna move in, you know, but the rockets are great for Avex as well. And he's crippled Cooler again. He just can't run freely around the map now, and with 1 minute 15 to go and 6 frags down, that's really not the situation you want to be in for Cooler. And again, Avex standing firm there, this time spamming Plasma. To again, not Cooler down a little bit lower than Cooler would have liked. And I mean, six frags for one minute. Cooler's got to get a kill pretty much now and then get really, really lucky as well if he's able to do this. Yeah, this is probably not going to happen. I mean, Avec is good at running the time now. Even if he loses the frag here, which he might as well now, it's not, it's not going to matter. And here comes Cooler and he will finally pick up that frag looking for the plasma off the spawn. Avec isn't going to spawn in that position. And that means that Cooler now has to put the damage down somewhere else. Avec dropping down onto that lower yellow, and he knows the more time he wastes, the more likely the Cooler's not going to get anywhere near him for this one. Cooler will push in for the kill again, and he does get it. It's now 8 5. Is he rocking pretty lucky on this 15 bounce. seconds. Uh, this is going to be a bad point for him. Is Avec there? Catch him now. No, Avec isn't where Cooler thought, but he spotted him again. Will drop down. Will he get the frag? He's actually chasing in. Four seconds to go. Two frags to do, and of course, Avec can delay his spawns out, and it is going to be Avec who picks.